So Ian, 2-1 win against Marlow, coming back from obviously being 1-0 down. It's a tough place to go as well, second in the league. Um, just sort of run us through your thoughts about today's game. Yeah, I thought we were we, we started very, very slowly. Marlow obviously a good side. They they deserve to be second. Uh, they're hard working, they're hard to play against. Um, but we started a little bit slow, which is a bit disappointing. But after sort of 30 minutes, um, the boys clawed themselves uh, back into the game. And I think overall we deserved the win. You know, I think it was unfortunate we got a, a red card with Kay. Uh, Kay. But um, I think we dominated most of it, apart from probably the last you know, sort of 20 minutes when you're, you're playing against an extra player. So we're just, we're just pleased because the... You know, at half time, you asked the question again, do they want to get in the playoffs? I said, this next 45 minutes is 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 ultimately where the season's come to. So we need to make sure we get something out of the game and the boys come back and they, they stuck together and they got the result, which is great. Yeah, absolutely. And um, obviously, it's been, it's been difficult playing against teams down the bottom. Playing against the team like Marlow, who are towards the top, and obviously, it's undeniable their quality. You look where they are in the league. Um, sort of how did you prepare for the, the contrast in obviously playing against a team towards the bottom in Guernsey and then playing a team at the top in Marlow? It's probably harder to motivate the team against a, a lower sort of ranked club, but uh, when you come to sort of Marlow, Chertsey's, the lads tend to motivate themselves. So, you know, we, we knew they'd be motivated, but we just we just started a little bit sort of, um, we had a game plan, but just started sloppy. We weren't on the front foot. Uh, we weren't going in behind too much. We weren't sort of anticipating the ball in behind. And, um, yeah, we when we conceded the goal, uh, we deserved to concede it. But I think that sort of woke us up a little bit, and then we uh, we put the game plan into place, and we were much much better. And um, yeah, it just it just shows uh, where the groups come. You know, when we've gone behind before, we've gone behind by two goals before, and come back and won the game. So there's a there's a real closeness there. And um, yeah, I, I do believe we deserve to be in those playoff spots. But again, we're currently sitting six again, which we've been for about ten months. Mm. Uh, but hopefully over the next week, we can change that round and get ourselves into fifth. Yeah, absolutely. And um, if you look at the game on paper, uh, six yellows, obviously it kind of indicates you know how scrappy the game was, especially in the second half when they went 2-1 down, they kind of threw a bit more at it. And obviously we threw at it trying to win the ball back and stuff like that. Uh, is it always difficult, you know, sort of managing in those conditions where obviously the players, are, you know, there's tackles flying in left, right and centre or do you think that's just part of the game plan? I think it's it's part of football. I think, and I think the, there's a couple of strong challenges, but most of the fouls and cars that we got were probably um, maybe a little bit calculated. You know, I think uh, dragging people back when they're going through. So I haven't got too much of an issue with that, if I'm honest. You know, I think that's sort of a little bit cynical, mm. but you know, football everyone does it. I think at times, sometimes if, if the team's breaking on you, you've got to take one for the team. And um, yeah, that, that's that just shows how far the players have come and how they've developed and. And what they've learned. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm okay with that to be honest. But uh, the most important thing today, like it was last week, was to get the three points, and now it puts us in a real good position with a game in hand um, to go to bad shot and hopefully get the result on Tuesday. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I think as well, um, uh, obviously the first goal was obviously this magnificent effort, you know, by Jordan. He's whipped it in, you know, top bins. Pretty good. Obviously, the second goal is more I want to talk about. Obviously, it's that sort of anticipation from Jordan to pick the ball up after the keepers sort of mishit it. Do you think that shows a bit more? It's more indicative of like how much more clinical we've been because I know that's probably maybe a criticism of our teams. We haven't probably been as clinical as we should have been, and that has left us to lose points. So do you feel like we've definitely come on since then, and that today was indicative of that? Yeah, I think we've been trying to push the lads, and I think that there's a few of the younger boys now maturing a little bit. And uh, we said at half time, you know, to do what he did for the goal there, just chase it. The pitch is bobbly. Uh, you know, it's, it's a misplaced pass, and uh, he's got to the end of it and got himself another goal. So um, you know, his first goal was. Probably one of the best you'll see at any at any level. You know, he's cutting time his left foot and bent in the top corner. Um, yeah, and I, we said to him at half time, I said, you know, you, we've had flashes of that first half. You could, you need to do that, be a bit more consistent. You know, get more of the ball and just keep doing it because he's a very very good young player. He's got so much ability, and what what we like about him is he, he's willing to learn and listen and um, take things on board. So you know, hopefully he'll make a a big jump up the ladder next season. But um, like we said to him before the game. Yeah, you need to help us get to those playoff spots and um, help us along our way. Yeah, and quickly, look, four games left now, four cup finals. Again, we've said it before. Um, how do you sort of prepare for those games coming up when they're coming so thick and fast? Uh, well, we're prepared for Badger Lee, uh, probably Sunday, Monday. We'll see if we've got any injuries. I think everyone's come through okay. Uh, there'll be a bit of tightness in the legs, but you know, Badger Lee are a good side. They're a football inside, uh, but again, we'll have a game plan to go against them. And it's another one we. Yeah, you know, we have to win. You know, we're in the driving seat where we are at the moment. So we've got a game in hand, and we can catch teams now. So it's down to us now to to motor on and, and get a good a good run in. And uh, I think the boys are good enough to do that. Absolutely. Well, congratulations, in. Thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you.